Are you having a hard time defeating Margaret? Well, then I have the solution for you. And welcome back, everybody. Today, we're taking a look at Elden Ring here and hopefully trying to get you a little strategy here that'll help defeat Megan. If you're new to this channel, by the way, yes, this panda face will stay here. It is a red panda. And no, I will not be removing it. Now, today, what we're hunting for is a spirit jellyfish ash. You get this by going on top of the Storm Hill. There will be a shack up there. There's a woman you talk to three times. And she'll give you these ashes. However, to utilize these ashes, you will first have to talk to Melina down by the Lost Grace at the front of the gatehouse. After doing this, you will then be able to talk to the Witch Rena at the Church of Ella. Once you've completed that, you'll be given the bell and a ash to summon three wolves. We're not going to use that. Now note, you cannot summon these wolves or these jellyfish at any point in time. There's only certain instances in which you can do that, mainly within boss rooms. The main benefit of this jellyfish, though, is that not only does it have a high amount of HP, it can tank a lot of damage and distract the boss, but it also has the ability to poison the boss. And so if you manage to keep the jellyfish alive enough, long enough, it will poison the boss significantly, dealing a substantial amount of damage. Meaning you have to spend less time up close and personal with Margaret. Sure, you have to basically run around while Margaret slowly poisons to death, but hey, it's better than anything else. Because if you're coming to me at this point in time, you're clearly desperate. Sure, it took me five hours, but really only it took me like 10 minutes after I had the jellyfish. Now, the best way that I have found to utilize this jellyfish while inside the boss room and facing Margaret is that you summon it at the very beginning and you try to keep the boss on you at all points in time. The easiest way to do that is just to tag it and then roll away. As long as you are the last person to hit the boss, the boss will be aggro to you. However, the jellyfish will be attacking Margaret Keeping the jellyfish alive as long as humanly possible will actually ensure the maximum amount of poison damage because poison is lethal. So if you're able to keep it alive enough long enough, then congratulations, Margaret's free kill. Now, if you're over halfway done with Margaret and the poison effect is still on her, you can go ahead and let the jellyfish perish and then just go around kiting Margaret until her eventual death. If Margaret doesn't die, go ahead and give her a few pokes. She should be all right then. So go ahead with your brand new jellyfish companion, go ahead and conquer Margaret and claim yourself 12,000 runes today. Other than that, if you found this guide very helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I will be trying to post more content related to Elden Ring as well as stream this, assuming it goes well here. Other than that, guys, I want to thank you all for joining me this evening, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.